So right at the beginning of the Quran, Allah talks about the fact that you shouldn't doubt the Quran. Where there is doubt, there cannot be healing. Where there is doubt, there will never be hope. So Allah concentrates on the issue of no doubt. This book, there is no doubt in it. It is authentic. It is absolutely correct. Allah says, لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. In a translation, we could say there is no doubt in it. There is guidance for those who develop taqwa. And just to recap with what you may know, taqwa is to develop the consciousness of Allah, developing the correct relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is taqwa. So when we say there is no doubt in this book and there is guidance in it for those who have taqwa, it means if we try to develop the correct relationship with Allah, that is the only time we will be able to benefit from revelation and from our relationship with Allah. How will I know what Allah wants from me if I haven't read the Quran? And how will the Quran impact upon me if I am not interested in developing the correct relationship with Allah or becoming conscious of Allah? So these are all interconnected matters. Remember that your taqwa is closely connected to how you are with the Quran. Your guidance is closely connected with your relationship with Allah and your search for guidance. So continue searching and continue pushing yourself to do the right thing.